Welcome back to ICT Trading Concept. I believe that everyone is fine. And yeah, there is a new video. I will explain everything to that setup which I have outlined in my life. I mean, most of you actually <laughs> missed my life. So I thought let's make it clear by a video so that you can get the precision from that long live video. You can get the summary. Okay. So I will outline this entry from very beginning. I'm gonna uh, actually delete everything from here at the end of this video you will understand why that entry was so legit okay so i'm gonna remove everything now first i have to go to our 15 minute chart so there is our 15 minute chart from 15 minute chart you can see what price is done this high and that high they are relatively equal highs okay you remember yesterday i told that that is my bias so i was bullish yesterday when even everyone was telling me that market is going to fall i told that no i am bullish so i was bullish yesterday today is also i am bullish until this buy sell liquidity is not taken okay price came to that entry favor gap from 15 bit chart perfectly went higher came here to that last favor gap closed here okay i mean just price closed here somewhere this is the low of wednesday i mean after reaching here this is the last price or something like that okay now i will first explain the narrative what is narrative the narrative is this will be your wednesday okay the expansion then market close here somewhere just think this is the close of wednesday uh, wednesday now today is thursday first you have to expect price will go a little higher then it will go and take that low that means the closing low from wednesday then it will keep going keep going higher to thursday okay so this run this run should have happened around the London session. Over here, if you want to ask me, so price actually went lower, then it went higher, it closed here. Okay. Then price went higher a little bit, it went lower, take that low. See, this is the Wednesday low. I'm talking about this low. It has been taken over there. Now, around the um, New York session, it should expand higher. So that's my expectation as well from thursday so just remember that one and i'm gonna explain the whole price action now price came here to that end favorable gap come here to that last favorable gap make this relatively equal low. so there was relatively equal lows over here which is actually called the obvious low because this low is taken by that low with a shallow run okay so that was the obvious obvious low. i'm gonna just change the color to red and I'm gonna mark the low as I see the obvious low, I just mark the low. And here is the low of the closing of Wednesday. I hope you will understand the swing low, the lowest swing low around the closing hour. Okay, that's why I'm telling this. This is the closing. So around that area, that was the closing. So that two level was my target, and this parallel gap should hold the price. I was in live and I told that market is coming to that 50%. Why? because i am bullish i know the narrative i know market should go a little lower first then it should expand higher. that's my expectation okay so what is going to happen in new york session i don't know right now i'm just going to explain the london session only okay so over here remember this thing now i'm coming to one minute chart so here in one minute chart you can see when market came here inside the London session it first came here to that last fair look at then it fall i was unable to take participate in that fall run i outlined everything over here as well but i was unable because there was not a perfect setup when there was not a perfect setup i didn't participate in any kind of entry but i was telling that how market is coming here until that constant encroachment okay when price came here see this high and that high i'm gonna mark them okay from here this is that high uh, just let me make it a little wider so that i can mark them easily okay so over here this is that high i'm gonna mark it as my buy side liquidity so this high that high and this high how clean they are see they are my buy side liquidity now price went little lower it came here to that 15 minute bullish farewell gap okay at the same time it has cleared this liquidity level and this liquidity level both of them has been taken already in i mean below this 
obvious liquidity what do i have extra you see this high has been taken out by that so this is called the shallow run i call i mark them as my most obvious liquidity okay so below this most obvious buy side liquidity i have this liquidity as well when i have that liquidity price came here take that low everything came to that bullish parabola gap traded the consequent encroachment went higher gave me the market structure shift did i get any market structure shift over there no i didn't this is not valid as a market structure shift in my opinion this is not valid market structure shift okay i'm not agree with that this is valid market structure shift trust me man i outlined that in my live with near about 100 i mean in front of 100 people okay i told this will be valid if there is a swing high when it made that swing high, exactly that swing high. i'm talking about this swing high. when this swing high happened over there i told that this is going to be the high which will be valid for shifting market structure so this will be your market structure shift all i need a very nice displacement toward that high okay so that will be my market structure shift after shifting the market structure i need an immediate reaction to the first parallel gap or the entry parallel gap okay so this will be the entry parallel gap over here that candle will be my entry candle okay exactly that candle will be my entry candle now it's gonna be little difficult when i'm here in one meter please watch the first part from the video one more time you'll understand and price will be here it has to come here this was my setup i outlined that again in live in front of near about 100 people so over here i have this last parallel gap exactly over not over there actually let me mark the last parallel gap from there so this candle here and here this is the last parallel gap okay price came here to that last parallel gap went higher when i saw this i marked that as my order block in life and i told that market should i mean this order block should hold the price send price at least to that high at least until that high it should send when market went little lower i marked the 50 percent of that order block and i told that if market would really love to go higher market should not go and close below that mean threshold of that order block so you can see how beautifully market stopped over there and it didn't even close below that mean threshold of that order block after seeing this i told that i don't want to see this will be filled that means this is my unfilled area so this parallel gap should be unfilled this parallel gap should be unfilled before taking that buy sell liquidity so when market has taken that buy sell liquidity this parallel gap is now important for me for breaker block i will look for a breaker block now here there is the another setup actually i don't want to talk about this setup right now still i'm bullish and new work session i'll be bullish until that see 18 6 to 6 level okay so overall that was the london session trade it worked perfectly and if you see the risk to reward ratio <coughs> it's in near about 1 is to 5.4 so 1 is to 5 was the risk to reward ratio from the beginning i would love to go one more time look at the bigger picture what do you see do you have any social liquidity no i don't have i have this very clean buy side liquidity. so this high and that high they are relatively equal highs i have this buy side liquidity and i have this all time high okay this is the all time high this is also the buy side liquidity so i have this buy side liquidity from 16 6, uh, 6 to 6 level and from 18 709 i have the only the buy side liquidity price came lower to that entry farewell gap failed to reach to that last farewell gap i told that yesterday i don't want to see price will be here because i want to see that will be fully untraded as a breakaway gap that was my expectation from wednesday so price came here to that entry farewell gap i outlined this price action yesterday as well <coughs> sorry then market expand higher okay where did it came to that last farewell gap from 15 mid set it came to that last farewell gap after coming to that last farewell gap price started to consolidate around the asia rails okay so in london i was expecting price will first go lower i tried to take a sell but there was no perfect setup from one mid set i didn't take that sell setup when price went lower cleared all of this consolidation or everything over here took the low from that uh, wednesday the way i outlined the narrative so this is the wednesday 
end okay it has ended over there this is the starting of the thursday thursday when it started took that low then it will expand higher this run will be from the london session so if when market is here my bias is bearish when market is below that low i am bullish simple from the london session so i have i was waiting to take a sell i didn't get any opportunity but when market came here to that constant encroachment to that farewell gap when market came here i was looking for a buy now time to go one minute chart price came here to that constant encroachment exactly took the liquidity very nice immediate reaction through that high that is called a perfect market structure sheet there is the first parabolic gap there is the last parabolic gap or the volume balance if you mark that as if, if you want you can do that actually i covered that by my stop loss because i was curious if it would love to reach until there it can reach over here so i just covered it i took that entry and that was my target here that was the water block uh maybe another day i will talk about the water block and this is that unfilled area which has been filled over here all i need a breaker here to take another buy until that clean buy sell you remember this high and that high they are exactly the clean high market doesn't like that type of clean highs so that was my london session and a plus sorry a plus plus setup or everything if it is helpful for you please don't forget to give me a thumbs up at the same time don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new even if you subscribe to my channel please try to join my live trust me i promise you man you will be benefited by my live and you are not going to get that benefit from anywhere else in this world you are not going to get that from anywhere else from nobody so it, it's all free free of cost all you have to just join to my live that's all brother so thanks for watching the video and cheers for the next video